four rising artists show their contemporary collections in an anthology-style exhibit which focuses on individual talents and themes. She brings light and vibrant pops of colour to any room. A former illustrator and animator, meet wood-turning artist Shin Yong Ah. Sejong Soloist is a highly regarded ensemble that has no conductor. Each musician learns to listen to one another as they bring classical music to the masses. The fine lines that are drawn between what is real and what is fake. An ironical juxtaposition that shouldn't be, but is. People stuck in the endless, tiring loop of life in the city. Complex ideas and observations are stripped down in a collection of pieces. Social consumption of images with little disregard for actual substance. Four artists, four stories, one solo exhibition. Four artists were asked to take part in an omnibus-style group exhibit titled Solo. It's a group exhibit that focuses on four individual artists and themes, but with an underlying purpose. The exhibit in itself is about giving rising artists a chance to show their work as solo exhibits, something that usually only comes after a certain amount of recognition and prestige, which is needed to get offered a solo exhibit. The vicious cycle is broken with this exhibit, which allows the artists to show as individuals and also gives them latitude to try new experimental styles. Speedy and lightweight. As many as possible, but without applying all my energy. Artist Che ji took experimental approaches to all the pieces in the collection. Post-its, rolled paper, postcards, the canvas types were many, but each told its own story with a witty humour to depict heavy subjects as well as the lighter ones. Instead of sharing explanations for each piece, Che ji conveys a complex range of emotions in different formats, which visitors can interpret in their own way. Uh, 
마음을 바른다거나 하는 행위들이 있습니다. 이것은 제가 조각을 오랫동안 해왔고 이제 조각과 회화의 접점을 찾으려다 보니 이렇게 물질성의 탐구라는 것에서 어떤 걸 뭔가 찾을 수 있지 않을까 라는 생각에서 그렇게 한 실험이기도 합니다. 이건 제가 사물이 아무렇게나 이렇게 얹혀져 있을 때그 사이에 보이지 않는 어떤 힘이 있지 않을까라는 것을 상상을 해서 그것을 이제 캔버스와 캔버스 사이에 제가 손을 이렇게 꽉쥔 모양의 클레이 조각을 놓음으로써 그 사이에 있는 힘을 이제 나타내고자 한 작업이고요. 도시에서 느낀 그런 답답함을 해소하고 싶어가지고 연한 색으로 그리드를 그리고 뒤가 비치는 그런 아주 얇은 면의 원단을 사용한 다음에 이제 숨구멍을 내고 싶어져가지고 이제 가운데 이렇게 점들이 들어가게 되었습니다. 이곳 솔로 엑시비션 is titled Re 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 by artist Yun Ho Jin. They represent the words reply, representation, and reconstruction. She shares her research on images represented by images and how we view secondary images created in a different medium. Then artist Yun Ho Jin plays with the concept of light, such as light images transmitted using temperature gradients or shots of the sun, which are reconstructed in different ways. Artist Yang Seung Won delves into what is real, what is fake, and the boundaries between them. He shows artwork that makes you think about the backstory of each image. This work is very beautiful to see it as a natural landscape. 겨울에라는 환경에 의해서 얼려서 만들어진 풍경 같기도 하고 더 없이 아름답고 때로는 찬란하기까지 하는데 그 속에 어 자연의 어떤 나무들은 죽어간 채 얼려져 있고 또 녹이고 다시 얼리고 이런 반복적인 행위를 통해서 인공적인 어떤 자연 풍경과 유사한 이미지를 만들다는 사실 알게 되었고 어 그것들을 대하는 어떤 과학적인 방식이나 폭력적인 태도들로 만들어지는 이런 풍경들을 사진으로 기록한 작업입니다. 저는 이렇게 시골 마을에서 벌어지는 어떤 축제 형식을 띤 어떤 이런 풍경들은 임시적으로 그 기간 내에만 존재하고 그 기간이 지나가면 다시 사라지는 형식의 축제였었어요. 그런데 그러한 형식이 어떤 전시라는 형식과도 비슷하다고 생각을 해서 임시적으로 존재했고 이 전시가 끝나면 이 또한 어 전시와 같은 형태로 사라지는 어천 재질의 현수막을 사용한 이유 또한 내가 말하고자 하는 메시지를 전달하기에는 더욱더 효과적이라고 생각을 해서 이와 같은 방식을 사용하였습니다. Experimental, exciting new approaches in the form of mediums we know well. Four artists, four stories, and one solo exhibit. Wooden blocks like you've never seen them before. Woodcrafts that are playful and woodcrafts that are practical. She makes them all. She's an artist that brings life to her wooden pieces through skill and vibrant color schemes. Happy and fun is the name of her game. Woodcraft artist Shin Yong Ah. 
we visited a woodworking studio in Yangcheonggu district in Seoul. That's the creative space for woodcraft artist Shin Young Ah. She was hard at work sculpting a piece of wood. Shin Young Ah has honed her craft with wood turning. Through her art, it's as if she gives trees a chapter in life after death. She is sensitive to the type of each piece of wood she works with, an artist who has learnt to follow the grain of the wood and let it guide her. It's been three years, but she is still developing her craft. Shin Yong Ah uses wood turning to construct her art. It's a technique that involves cutting shapes out symmetrically around the axis of rotation on the machine. She carefully carves out each piece, turning wood into fun shapes and doll figurines. Her signature series are called The Stacked. It was Korea's stone pagodas or stone towers that inspired her to make these stacked block dolls. Each block of the figures is interchangeable letting people build their own dolls their own way. This series was awarded Star Product by the Korea Crafts and Arts Design Foundation in 2017. I wanted to make a to make a to they are artistic pieces that look fun in any room of the house. And Shin Young Ah has added block pieces to give them practical uses as well, such as tea light candle holders. They can also be created to be used as flower vases. After the stacked series, she decided to try a more modern, simpler design adding metallic material and continuing to make her pieces more practical. A stationary holder, a paperweight. Her new series is called Tadanamu, which loosely means many pieces of wood. Shin Yong Ah studied Western art in college, then illustration and animation at a school in the UK. She constantly thinks about how to act movement to her woodcrafts, and she's been able to do so in her Tadanamu series. animation 
부분을 찾아 다녔었던 것 같고요 실제로 만져지는 작업을 하고 싶어서 좀 바꾼 것도 있고 나이 들어서 할수 있는 직업에 대한 고민도 조금 있었던 것 같고요 Shin Young-a is very particular about the colors of her woodcrafts. She likes to make sure the colors are bold and vibrant. In the beginning, it took a while for her to get used to coloring on wood, but now she's become a pro. The colors, the varnish, each step of her artistic process is important. The color is very... 쨍한 색상을 색감을 좋아하는 편이라 물감 같은 경우도 한 브랜드만 쓰지 않고 뭐 빨강은 어디 브랜드, 뭐 파랑은 어디 거, 뭐 이런 식으로 사용하는 편이고 바니쉬 작업도 사실은 물감 위에 칠하다 보니까 투명성이 좀 높은 바니쉬를 시행착오를 거쳐서 사용하는 편이고. In order to get the color she wants, she has to use several coats of paint and then allow for the time it takes the varnish to dry. Picking the right piece of wood, shaping the wood and sanding it, coloring and varnish, it's a process, but one that she enjoys and hopes to expand. 기본적으로 이제 인형 시리즈는 계속 해보고 싶고요. 좀큰 인형들, 큰 인형 시리즈, 뭐 모빌 시리즈, 좀 작은 가구들 같은 시리즈를 좀 만들고 싶긴 해요. 현대 배, 배우고 있기도 하고 또 어, 그래서 이제 뭐 작은 사이드 테이블 시리즈라던가 그런 쪽으로 한번 작업해 보고 싶습니다. She wants to continue this work into her later years, and in that time, the possibilities are endless. We're looking forward to more from the woodcraft artist Shin Yonga. Music that spans decades. In particular, to, for tonight's program, it highlights the musicians' virtuosity. Each musician, so Brahms and Mendelssohn and Wittmann, who is the contemporary of um, German iconic composer. Music brought to audiences in a medley of variations. The Sejong Chamber Series, a musical journey with the Sejong soloists. First is Etude No. 5 for the flute. It's a solo piece by Korean composer Yuni Sang. Throughout his career, Yuni Sang composed Western music inspired by the Korean traditional music and traditional instruments from his memories. It's written the style of Sanjo in a sense that it's very free form and freestyle. He took the flute as traditional Korean flute, like sogum or tegum, and wrote this piece thinking the sound that he had heard on sogum or tegum. This piece has both Eastern and Western qualities. It's not a combination, but a beautiful compromise. This is a 20th century piece where Yunis Hang explores the infinite possibilities of flute music. Jörg Wiedmann is a German composer, conductor, and world-renowned clarinetist. This is his piece, 180 beats per minute. We always try 
to program a mix of nice balance of new music and traditional music. Wittmann falls into the new music uh, for tonight's program. It requires an amazing amount of concentration from the musicians. Really exciting and as fast as it can go. Um, yeah, that's the character of the piece. 180 beats per minute, or BPM, is about the average maximum heart rate. The sextet's musical structure becomes condensed into a study on one single chord, which, in principle, is varied throughout the entire piece while remaining constant in regards to tone. Johann Brahms. This is his first violin sonata. This particular piece is called Regen, also known as the Rain Sonata. Well, it's a very beautiful piece, also a very difficult piece. It actually makes me think a little bit like a great singer has to manage the breath, the line. So even though it says Violin Sonata Number 1, it's a very mature work. It takes a lot of patience to build the line the right way. A warm tone fills the concert hall. Brahms himself described the piece in this way. It is the sweet but bitter feeling of a rain that falls at night. One beautiful aspect of the piece can be found when the piano chimes in on equal footing with the violin. The sound of the violin and piano playing together with such an effortless sound is stunning to listen to. There's a folksy demeanor that the piece has and Brahms plays with an ebb and flow of emotions within the opus. Happiness, then sorrow. Sonata number one in G major, opus 78, the Rain Sonata. String Octet is a brilliant piece that Felix Mendelssohn composed at the young age of 16. Mendelssohn had successfully brought an orchestral-like sound to an octet piece. Mendelssohn wrote it when he was only 16 years old, but it's one of the greatest pieces ever written. It's an octet, meaning for eight people. Sometimes the first violin part, which I'm playing, is almost like a concerto with seven other instruments. And then other times it's eight equal voices, but because Eight voices is so many to hear at one time. It sounds almost like an orchestra. It's really a remarkable piece to hear this kind of sound. I, I don't think anybody before Mendelssohn had ever written a piece like this. After a fast-paced first movement, the second boasts a more lyrical melody. The third movement was inspired by the play Faust by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Mendelssohn composed it while imagining fairies dancing in a field. Just as the fairies fly away at dawn, the music ends on a light whisper. The fourth movement begins with the cello, and the other instruments join in with repetitions in the style of a fugue. String Octet Opus 20, a fantastic show of the musical brilliance and imagination of a 16-year-old Mendelssohn.